break for lunch, I would like to introduce David Parrish. David Parrish is a specialist creative industries management consultant, business advisor, coach, mentor, trainer, speaker, and writer, working internationally. And you're also the author of the highly acclaimed book, T-Shirts and Suits, a guide to the business of creativity that we have given to all the participants. And uh, David, you're welcome to come up on stage and tell us about your experiences of how we pair the T-shirts and the suits. Thank you, Rasmus. <laughs> My name is David Parrish, and I'm delighted to be here at the Creative Business Cup International Finals in Denmark. T-shirts and suits means creative people the t-shirts, using smart business thinking, suits. T-shirts and suits means combining creative passion with cool business techniques. T-shirts and suits means that we can be both creative and commercially successful. T-shirts and suits means creative entrepreneurs like these. Tran Thi An Vu in Vietnam. Rob Kinsey in England. Cassandra Postima and Dong Xing Chu in Hong Kong. Jerome, Martin, Rob and Giovanni in the Netherlands. Kenya Linton George in Jamaica and Guillermo Marconi in Brazil. All of them have been featured in articles on my website about the amazing things that creative entrepreneurs can do, not only in the studio, but in the office, in the way that they do business. I'll tell you more about those people in a moment. I've been privileged to be able to work with hundreds of creative entrepreneurs like you in more than 30 countries all around the world. My personal mission is to help creative people be the best that they can be by using smart business thinking and cool techniques that fit with their values and their objectives. I work as a management consultant giving one-to-one -one business advice to creative enterprises about strategy, growth, marketing, and other issues. I design and deliver training workshops for creative entrepreneurs on strategy, intellectual property, pricing, and a range of business topics. And I also speak at conferences about creative entrepreneurship around the world. I work with entrepreneurs directly, and I also work with the creative industry's support agencies that help them to be as successful as they can be. This is based on my own experience as a creative entrepreneur. From having set up businesses since my early 20s, you have to imagine me a long time ago with hair, indeed with long hair, and even a beard setting up a bookshop in my hometown near Manchester in England. And at that time, actually, I was quite anti-business. Business was a dirty word. It didn't seem to fit for me with creativity and culture. But I've learned a lot since then. I've learned from going to business school. But perhaps mostly, I've learned from the privilege of working with thousands, well, certainly hundreds, if not thousands, of creative entrepreneurs around the world like you. I wrote a book called T-Shirts and Suits, A Guide to the Business of Creativity. It's a business guide for creative people in how they can apply business techniques to achieve the success that they want, with lots of examples about how creative people have done those things. The book is a practical book and it's also a free electronic book in English which you can download for free 
from my website, davidparish.com, and you can redistribute it uh, and add it as an, as an attachment to your website, use it on your training courses, or whatever you'd like to do with it. It's also been published in translations in seven countries so far. In Thailand, in Chile, in Lithuania, and in Taiwan. Also in Spain, Colombia, and China. I'd like to work with people like you to translate and publish this book in other countries, in other languages, to help creative entrepreneurs in your countries. So T-shirts and suits is about creative passion combined with smart business thinking. We know that the creative industries includes technology, film, video, TV, music, photography, art and illustration, design, the performing arts, computer games, architecture, designer fashion, crafts, book publishing, and much, much more. That's the creativity. But what about the smart business thinking? This article is all about collaborating with competitors for mutual benefit. That combination of collaboration and competition that I call co opetition This is the story of Tran Tian Vu, who runs an art gallery in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, where she has a rival art gallery across the road. But they decided that instead of simply competing, they would collaborate to put both of their art galleries online to reach a larger market. And therefore, by collaborating with a competitor, they both benefited. This is about business strategy and focusing on the things in which you have competitive advantage and at which you can be world class. Rob Kinsey is an artist who loves motocross. He's passionate about that sport and he makes lots of paintings about motocross. But he came on my workshop in England thinking that he would have to diversify make lots of different kinds of art to hedge his bets. By the end of my workshop, he decided to do the opposite, to focus on the thing that he was most passionate about, become the best in the world at it, and find the market that wanted that very thing. And he has indeed done that, and now he is the world's premier motocross artist, and he is commercially successful. This is about selling intangibles as well as the obvious product. We talk here in Denmark about the experience economy. And very often, we're selling a feel-good factor, a connection, a sense of community, perhaps kudos, or in this case, hope. Cassandra Postima and Dong Xing Chu run a company in Hong Kong called Dialogue a fashion company. And they had a project to make t-shirts which involved the community and the profits went to the survivors of a natural disaster. They came to realize that they were selling much, much more than t-shirts. People were buying into the story, into the movement, into the cause. And so we call the story Selling Hope, wrapped up in t-shirts. This is about guerrilla marketing, what you might call unconventional and imaginative marketing. These guys, Jerome, Martin, Rob, and Giovanni, in Utrecht, in the Netherlands, run a company called Autobahn, a graphic design company. They did something quite wacky, quite crazy. They climbed up ladders and posted on the outside of windows of offices, posters that said, we want to work with you. It sounds crazy, it was indeed a stunt. But the point is that before doing that, they sat long and hard and thought in their boardroom, quite coldly and in a calculated manner, 
about which were the businesses that they could actually get business with, add value to, and which few to target. They did not do this randomly. So it's a combination of a crazy stunt with cold, calculated thinking. This is about organizational structures. We talk a lot about companies, partnerships, groups of companies, non-profit organizations, etc. This is an entrepreneur I met <coughs> in Jamaica, Kenya Linton George, who runs her own TV production company. She makes a TV show called Mission Catwalk and is very successful with it. She's had lots of experiences of business and has decided that the best structure for her is to be a solo entrepreneur. Hence the term solopreneur. And this is about the licensing of intellectual property. Guillermo Marconi from Brazil is a commercial artist, but he doesn't sell his art to his clients, clients who are as big as Nike and Coca-Cola. He licenses his art to them. Hence the title, don't sell it, rent it. Because in this way, if they want to use his work again for a different purpose, perhaps for a store design or packaging, they have to pay him again and again. And in this way, through the licensing of intellectual property, you can make money while you sleep. All these articles are published first in English, but many have been translated, in this case, into Portuguese for the Brazilian market. Perhaps we can translate some more of these articles to share with people in your country. So these are all people who produce artistic products, but importantly, they also use their creativity not only in the studio, but in the office. They use their creativity not just to make products, but, about, but in the way that they do business. They think hard about their business models, their business structures, and their techniques. And so I congratulate them all. I congratulate you. And I congratulate thousands of entrepreneurs around the world who are thinking not only about their creations, but about their business models. So T-shirts and suits is a book, but it's much more than that. There's also online my Creative, Cultural and Digital Industries Guide, which has local examples that could be adapted to your locality, to your region. I've also published a toolkit called Designing Your Creative Business which we use on training workshops to help people think through the process of developing their business successfully. There are many blogs that I've written that can be republished. And articles such as Create Your Own Business Formula, which has been translated into several languages, including this one, which is Romanian. Let's translate that and distribute it free of charge to creative entrepreneurs in your country. T-shirts and suits is also about videos, videos about successful projects, about business techniques such as pricing. But primarily, T-shirts and suits is about connecting creative people. And the T-shirts and suits creative enterprise network is online, free to join, and a place for you to publicize your enterprise, but also to ask about cool business techniques and indeed to share your successes with a worldwide community of creative, and creative entrepreneurs. So share your successes with me by joining the T-Shirts and Suits Creative Enterprise Network. And it's in this spirit of T-Shirts and Suits that for the first time there is a T-Shirts and Suits special prize at this year's Creative Business Cup. The prize is awarded for a special combination of creative passion and smart business thinking. It's a cash prize plus consultancy advice from me for the winning creative enterprise. There can only be one winner 
of that prize. However, everybody can win from the t-shirts and suits, suits approach. The t-shirts and suits way of combining creativity and smart business thinking. We can benefit from the free resources that I've published and other people are sharing. From the videos, the articles. We can benefit from, from being part of that network. That movement of creative people being smart with business thinking. So please join me and collaborate online and elsewhere with thousands of others around the world. I'd love to help you make your creative enterprise even more successful. Let's talk about how we can do that. Finally, I'd just like to say I wish you every success in your endeavors to combine creative passion with smart business thinking. That's what I mean by t-shirts and suits. Good luck to you. Thank you.